my presentation, I'll give you information about the Transatlantic Technology and, and Training Alliance. The Transatlantic Technology and Training Alliance, TA3, by its acronym, is a network of vocational education and training colleges in Europe and in the United States of America. And I'll, I'll share with you the past, the present, and the future of the network. I'll start with the past and maybe some of you may think, why do you talk about the past? Because in the end we all live in the, in the present and we all plan the future. And some of you may even think that this is a mere act of erudition or an act of showing respect to our predecessors, but it's not. In the end, what we are now is a consequence of what we were yesterday and what we, we will be tomorrow is, a, is somehow influenced, influenced of by what we were yesterday. And this is why I start with the past. And going back to the, to the past, this network, the TA3 Alliance, started in, was created in, in the, in the mid-90s. And the question is, why did they decide to create this network in the mid-90s? And this takes me back to the 80s. In the mid-80s, the manufacturing industry in the United States was facing a fierce competition and the need to be more competitive and to innovate became evident. So some colleges in the south of America, in the south of the United States of America, started working in different activities to help the companies to be more innovative. And then this type of activities were spreading over time, and so we reached the 90s. And in, in the mid of the 90s, this alliance was created exactly with this goal. They had vocational education and training centers in Europe and community colleges in the United States, and they were all working together with the same goal. In the beginning, the type of activities that they were doing were, as you can see in the screen, comparative research projects, information sharing activities, exchanges, yeah, they were also fostering joint ventures, and they were doing all of this with under some guiding princi principles. And these guiding principles were to help to acquire a technically highly skilled workforce, to foster innovation, to foster entrepreneurship and intra-entrepreneurship, to promote exchange and learning activities among the members of the TA3 network and to help the SMEs to be more competitive and of course to push uh, transnational connections. It, the focus of the network was always a regional focus because all the vet centers work in the regions, they all work in their areas but they became aware of the need and of the relevance of trying to have international alliances to help the regional communities to thrive. And of course, one of the main guiding pr principles for any network is collaboration. And one of the activities that they were organizing were conferences. The first TA3 conference is not in this slide, but it took place in 1993 and then since then almost every year a conference has been organized somewhere. Usually it is so that we have a conference one year in the United States and another year in Europe. So in this slide you can see the last conferences since 2006 and if we follow the timeline we arrive to the present. Before I start, I start talking about the present. I'd like to, I'd like to say thank you, thank you to, thank you to, especially to two persons. One of them is Dr. Stuart Rosenfeld, and the other one is uh, Jose Luis Fernandez Maure. Thank you, both of you. 
And I'm saying thank you because they shared with us a plethora of information about the past activities of the network, and this was very relevant for us. Then coming to the present, I recently took the lead of the European part of the TA3 network. And in this time, as we all know, Europe is facing one of the worst crises of its history with this COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, the priority of the European Commission is to come out of this crisis. But we don't want to overcome this crisis and be again economically competitive anyhow. We want to do it by being a more sustainable, uh, green and a more digital, uh, digital society. This is what the European Commission calls the twin transitions or the green transition and the digital transition. And of course, in these two transitions, there will be a great need for skilling, reskilling, upskilling workers, students and almost everyone in our societies and vocational education and training will have a very relevant role to play. Of, apart from that, in Europe we have a couple of challenges. One of them is aging. We know that many people are close to retirement and they will probably need to update their skills before they retire. But uh, we also have the problem of many people retiring and we are losing a lot of experience. And the other challenge is the technological one. Technology is advancing and is changing continuously and the workforce needs to be continuously trained and retrained. So having these two transitions in mind and these two transitions in mind and the relevance of that and the challenges we have, for us it became uh, obvious that we need to continue fostering this type of networking activity. And the reason is that our bed centers are all working at regional or at local level. Why? Because you train your students from your area, you train the workers of your companies, and you provide services in the area where your college is located. But at the same time, when we talk about sustainability, when we talk about uh, digitalization, we are talking about global challenges and, and, and we are in a global world. So it's not possible to have only a regional or a local focus without paying attention to what's happening at international level. And this is the reason and this is the sense of a network like this. We need to be aware of what's happening in other areas to continue doing our work properly in our regions. So having said that, our plans for the future. <laughs> During this uh, academic year, we want to organize three activities, three online activities, of course, because as you all know, this pandemic has made it very difficult for us to travel or to do other kind of international activities. We start today with this activity focused on food and there and there will be two more activities, one focused on energy and another one focused on advanced manufacturing. And of course, once this pandemic is over, we'd like to continue this exchange in a physical format as it was done previously. Now, that being said, I know that I didn't give much information in this presentation, but I invite you all to visit our web page. And in our web page, you'll find an area which says contact, and there you'll find an email. So please do not hesitate to send us an email and to ask us whatever you are interested in, and we'll be very happy to answer. <laughs>